I fell in love with the makeup process and just getting people ready for screen. I always knew I wanted to do makeup in the film industry. I am the wardrobe mistress slash stylist for the tournament. There's so many moving parts to this kind of thing, but you form a part of the team and you make it all happen. And then you know what time you arrive, how to get everybody ready. Um, it's quite seamless, actually. You would use a concealer palette like this that has color correction colors, um, like green takes away um, pinks and reds, and then that color would help with purples and bruising and stuff like that. So you put that underneath the foundation and then you build the foundation on top of it. And someone will look brand new and fresh. We prepped her skin uh, with a mattifying lotion and I've powdered her and I'm getting ready to airbrush her with a silicone based product to make sure that this makeup stays put through the heat and the traveling around at the ICC for today's uh, two netball games. The routine that we do is we meet them, we take them in store to choose whatever they feel they would like to wear. And that will give me an indication of what type of style they like, um, what they will wear, what they won't wear. And if I think my eye catches something that theirs don't, then we just weigh it up where we say, OK, this looks nice, it's you, but what about this? Try it and most of the time they're surprised and they're like, oh, wow, I didn't know it would look so good on me. And can you believe it? You can use eyeshadow palettes for pretty much like a lot of the face. You can use it for contouring and all that as well. Um, but obviously getting a good foundation palette that has all the skin tones and skin colors so that you can work on different ethnicities. This is an airbrush liquid. It is a silicone-based product that um, is finely dispersed on the skin and it settles quite beautifully on the skin. One can say that this is more of a digital makeup because the way the camera picks up the, the makeup, it's like pixels. So it's very fine and very even. On a lady, I would roughly say a good 35 to 40 minutes. Um, on men, they generally just get a, a good skin prep and a bit of powdering and they are ready for screen. So roughly about five minutes for the guys. Whenever we do stuff and we choose an outfit, we always put it on camera. Because then you'll see the movement of it and you make it come alive in your own skin. The minute you just stand and you go, oh, you look great. You don't look great until you've seen yourself on the camera because that's where the movement happens. It's so exciting. I've never done anything like this before where it's just been all women. And it's been such a positive experience um, working with all these incredible, empowering and powerful ladies. I'm, I'm totally crashing on myself because my face is just totally popping right now. Yeah. <laughs>